Now we're ready to tackle part D of this problem, to express the two forces as vectors. So what we just did on part C was to calculate the magnitude of force between the two charges. And if you refer back up to our diagram, we saw that because it was a positive and negative charges, they attracted each other, we can see the direction of those two forces. So we can start by putting this into words. The force on charge 1 points to the right, while the force on charge 2 points to the left. Now the way we keep track of these two forces in terms of them being vector signs is we represent the force on charge 1 due to charge 2 as F12 and the force on charge 2 due to charge 1 is F21. Now remember, both of these have to have a magnitude of the force that we calculated up on the top. Because it points to the right, that's in the plus i hat direction, to the left is in the minus i hat direction. And there's no y component at all. There's no up and down aspect to this. So in terms of our standard vector notation, that means we have plus 0.36 newtons i hat and 0 j hat for that force on charge 1 which points to the right. And then we've got minus 0.36 newtons i hat plus 0 j hat for the force which points to the left. And this is consistent with the ij notation that we've been using starting from physics 1.